Hi, I'm Irene Matz, Interim Dean for the College of Communications. I hope that your semester is going well for both students and faculty. This is one of my monthly messages to keep you informed about the college, our activities, and exciting goals. We are dedicated to our strategic plan for both the university and the college. But before I tell you about our plans, let me introduce you to our staff. They are the first persons that you see when you enter our office, and it is important that you get to know them. From the Dean's office, we have our administrative assistant, Linda Louie. You'll know Linda as soon as you enter the office because of her smiles and friendly greeting. Linda is always eager to help you find your way and never too busy to answer questions. Farther into the office, you'll find our interim associate dean, Ed Fink. Ed has been with the university for over 25 years, and he formerly served as director of our Faculty Development Center. Ed knows all. Nathan Van Diggle is our administrative analyst specialist. He keeps us on target with our budget. He's our money guy. Our director of development position is presently vacant, and we look forward to filling that position hopefully soon because that person helps us with fundraising. Our academic resource area is on the sixth floor of College Park. It's a new home to Connie Chen, who is our academic advisor, and she has three students supporting her. This is just a drop-in service that is available every day for you. Tammy Rogers is our graduation specialist, and she works hard at ensuring that you are given accurate information about completing your units for your degree. Tammy will give you undivided attention to your Titan degree record and ensure that you are on target for graduation. In my earlier welcome video, I introduce you to our Assistant Dean for Student Affairs and Faculty Advisor for Internships. They are also on the sixth floor. Now for some exciting activities. We are hosting 10 students and faculty from the University of Havana in November. This was a result of a generous grant from the Knight Foundation to support the Cuban Journalist Training Program in our college. We will host an open session where you are invited to meet these students and professors. The date will be announced later. I hope that you'll be available to meet them for it is programs such as this one that we learn about each other, understand cultures, and hopefully nurture friendships, building bridges from our land to theirs. Another exciting area is our Titan Communications. I had the pleasure of being interviewed a few weeks ago by a student journalist, Sophia, who presented part of Orange County News. It was an enlightening experience seeing the students behind the cameras knowing that they had written, produced, and directed the entire program and delivered the news, weather, and sports to our Orange County television station. One of our goals is to have Titan Communication Media in a visible place on campus where students can watch behind glass, just like the major news early morning networks peering through the windows. Wouldn't that be fun? Well, that's all for now. I'll return the beginning of November and update you on the latest from the college. Study hard, stay healthy, and remember to have fun. And if you are near the Dean's office, please drop in and say hello. Signing off for now, Irene Matz, your Dean.